Well, a doctor in South Jersey is making medical history. On the Health Watch tonight, for the first time, technology designed for humans was used to guide spine surgery on a dog. Yeah, this is amazing. Stephanie Stahl <laughs> is here with this happy reunion. Yeah, it's an amazing wow. story, guys. You know, we've been telling you about 3D technology and how it is advancing all kinds of surgical procedures for people. Well, doctors can actually see and touch what they'll be operating on before the surgery. Well, now for the first time, it was used on a dog. You're doing so good. Yes, you're doing so good. Lorraine Young is relieved to see her beloved Andy getting back to normal. He looks great. Yeah. He's a happy boy. Aren't you? But three weeks ago, Andy, who's seven, woke up paralyzed. And couldn't walk and dragging his legs behind him. Andy had a spinal compression, a genetic risk for short dogs with long backs like dachshunds. Without surgery, no hope of him walking again. Andy's surgery at the St. Francis Veterinary Center in South Jersey was a first. And you see how that's much more narrowed? The team here had a 3D exact replica of Andy's spine, created at Thomas Jefferson University's Health Design lab. The 3D printer here is normally used to create models used to treat people. The human side perfects things and we get great ideas from the humans that say, why can't we do that with our pets? So it's a great synergy. Dr. Mark Magazoo says the human inspired model allows for better precision, critical with spine surgery. With this model, you were able to see what you were going to operate on before the surgery. That's exactly right. You can see what and where the material is in the spine. So it actually guided us to where we needed to go. What a difference, it's amazing. Now Andy is regaining his strength in physical therapy. We're trying to strengthen his hind end. Andy is the first dog here to have the human-inspired technology assist with his surgery. I think it's absolutely awesome. Yes, it's very amazing. I'm glad that Andy's gonna be able to be a part of that. Now, Andy's spinal replica was made based on a CT scan. It's part of a new human veterinary pilot program between St. Francis and Jefferson's Health Design Lab. How cool oh, is that? That was great. Amazing. That was absolutely. Andy looks so happy. <laughs> Doesn't he? Did you see his tail wagging? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> He's oh. a happy guy. Great news. Great yeah. news. Thank, Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it.